Hi, my name is Bob Spurzum. I'm a senior product marketing manager with EMC. Welcome. Today I'd like to talk about EMC Source One and one of its very unique features called archive folders. As an archiving solution, EMC Source One is unique in the industry because of this feature. So let's, uh, let me show you what it's about and we can understand its benefits. I've shown the benefits on the right there, namely uh, number one, with reducing storage costs. We'll talk about how we do that. Classification, kind of a buzzword in the archiving uh, industry. We'll talk about how it helps achieve that. And finally, automation. Very important as storage is growing to manage its costs and automation is a key way to do that. So those are some big benefits. Let's, let's talk about how we address those with this feature, archive folders. Here in my diagram, I start on the left showing your, some basic applications that are being addressed by Source One. Namely, you're archiving for your email server. This can be uh, Microsoft Exchange, IBM Lotus Notes, and other uh, email applications. With your Windows file shares, and also Microsoft SharePoint, your content repository. So these are very, very typical uh, applications that we are supporting with Source One. But here in the middle, I've drawn this feature, drawn this feature called business folders, and I use that synonymous with archive folders. We kind of use both, and they're drawn here. And what are we doing with these? Well, the folders are such that you define these for your business needs. Let's take some simple examples. Maybe you just want to have a folder for your email, and you could store all your email together. Or maybe you had a specific requirement to store data from all your sources for three years. You could, you could have that. So you can see this is very flexible. Or perhaps a, just a different department, say finance department, showing the letter F, wanted to have some parts or all of this data for that folder. So this, this here, as I'm drawing, can be, can be very flexible as you match your needs of moving the data from the primary application based on your policies. This is what the archive solution is doing. But it doesn't just go into one big storage area. You get to define where it goes. And if we stop right here, I think you'll be, you'll be seeing how we're going to achieve that benefit of classification. Because I think the best way to do classification for the least amount of trouble and cost is to do it immediately when you're archiving data and gathering it from the source. So I think you can see here, you can begin to classify your email by content in one folder, or perhaps by users, or retention requirements. I'm sure you've got other examples you can think of, and you can begin to classify all your data. Now th this is pretty much, you can define as many as you want, but I don't, think, I don't think you want to get too complex, but I think easily you could see you could have perhaps dozens of folders classifying your data immediately as it's captured from these primary sources. And this is all being managed here by source one. Now we focused on the data content going into folders. Now each folder also carries with it its own unique meta properties. And I've tipped off one here, retention period. Each folder can be defined perhaps indefinitely, um, a three year period, a four year. So that, uh, that's an important piece of uh, information that you define for that folder. And the final one is where is that folder stored? As shown over here, Source One supports a very wide range of storage systems, SAN, NAS. We have also uh, uh, store it on the uh, EMC, some of the storage devices we've got, such as Data Domain, Atmos, and Centera. So in the, if you look at the total path as you take data from its source, define its content through its folders, you can see that then it can flow to its proper storage device. Which drives us to our third and final benefit there in automation. As data is being moved through based on policies, you don't need to touch it. It's set up and then it moves automatically under the control of source one. The retention periods are managed automatically and when that retention period expires, data is automatically removed. So it's really kind of a store and forget model. And again, as we're managing storage growth, and putting in applications like Source One for archiving, this automation is key just to drive down the overall management costs. So in summary, today we've talked about EMC Source One 
and its unique feature called archive folders. We talk about three key benefits. The first one being in reducing storage costs through deduplication on these storage devices. We've also talked about classification. I showed how email can be classified, email files can be classified from the source. And I think that's the best way to do it. Get data right out of the source, classify it immediately. And then finally, in areas of automation. We saw here how data flows from the source all the way to the storage device and managed securely by source one, by its folder location, by its storage device, by its retention, and its eventual uh, deletion, if that's, the, if that's the, the way you've configured it. So I'd urge you to learn more about EMC Source One, and you can do that by going to www.emc.com forward slash archiving. Here you can learn about Source One. You can also learn about these other EMC uh, storage products. Thank you very much.